Oops. Right. So this is uh, part two of my roundup here. And I was just explaining um, how uh, we got to the, 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 the middleweight title, which was Matt Ewan, who, who um, had the title and successfully defended it against Mark Epstein, um, and how the people that I was with were supporting him, and how there was a to-do at the end because uh, uh, two challengers entered the, the ring uh, wanting to contest, be the next to contest uh, Matt Ewan, and one got a little bit close tempers sprayed and uh, the, the two fighters had to be s uh, separated. Um, there was also to do with the fact that uh, uh, Paul Daly was the person to present the award and uh, the people who are supporting Matt uh, Ewan were also supporting a person who was fighting later on in the uh, the card called Shea Mills um, and they they have a problem because they do believe that Paul Daly is trying to do any everything possible to avoid fighting this guy um, so there was a and th this crowd was very very rowdy um, they wouldn't boo an opponent who who just because he was unpopular not because he's actually done anything um, so there we are um, right moving on uh, Ross Mason and Ross Poynton now uh, people will know <laughs> that the person that I liked on tough um, was uh, uh, Ross Poynton, who unfortunately has a knack of losing almost every fight he gets into. Um, but he is, I do find him very, very funny. And uh, he was facing the uh, the challenger. Well, the two of them were facing uh, each other, but uh, Ross Mason, who is very, very well known and very, very well liked. And unfortunately, Ross Mason lost this, this match. Um, he lost it by a heel hook. Uh, he, thankfully, he did not scream. Um, I'm making reference there, of course, to uh, uh, Din Thomas and uh, Jens Pulver. But um, yes, um, unfortunately, Poynton's win was not well taken by the crowd, apart from me, who I was, I was sort of cheerfully gleaming. Uh, not that I, I dislike Ross Mason, but um, I have, yes. I do like uh, pointing quite a lot, um, and you know, it's it's just heartwarming to see him win something for once. Um, so uh, there was a, there was a little bit of a to do there. The crowd did not take it very well, and and Poynton unfortunately reacted to that and made quite a uh, a um, you know he was swearing left, right, and centre, and and it was unfortunate really because um, his match was the first match that was going to be shown live on Sky TV and so right from the start um, you know they had this this problem with uh, the crowd and and Ross Poynton didn't go down too well. Uh, the following match which was uh, James Zigic and uh, Rodney uh, Favaros um, that was Bore that was the, that was the uh, the 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 um, if you pardon the pun uh, the Duff match on the uh, card um, the two I mean it wasn't quite as bad as as uh, seventy which was the uh, Loyota one that that really was terrible but um, it was not a particularly stunning card uh, fight that one and people were sort of getting a bit restless at, at, at this point um, now they'd already stopped. The um, the action of half an hour after the after Matt Ewan won, um, before the uh, pointing fight, because they, um, as I said, they were actually going live at that point onto uh, one of the Sky channels, um, and after this 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 bout with uh, that Zigic won, they stopped again and they actually went back and showed the end of one of the fights before, which was quite funny because. At that point, we got to hear what the um, the commentators were saying, which of course you don't hear during the uh, performance itself. What, what we do hear, which I thought was fantastic, was they actually mic'd up the referee. And every time um, somebody made a mistake, you could c clearly hear uh, the referee telling them, you know, not to, you know, hold on to the other guy's sh shorts or uh, not to hold on to the. Um, side of the cage or you know that, that if they didn't um, give more action that he would stand them up and I thought that was fantastic because 
Um, you know, and I have to say, Grant Waterman is is yes, I think he's he's fantastic um, as a referee. I really do. I, I thought that was fantastic. Um, so that was another thing. Th their only problem really was um, they had two tire two two situations. They opened the the whole card, and one of the presenters had a microphone that didn't work, and it had to be exchanged. There was another point later on where they tried to then go from the commentators in the octagon to the um, panel on the outside that were commentating, and again it took them a while to get the microphones working. Having said that, um, it's a promotion that does not travel outside of London, and this was their first attempt in a new arena, and you know, actually it, it was not too bad at all. Uh, what was interesting was right at the very start of the um, match. Yes, it was just before the uh, the Ross Pointing match when they s went on to Sky. Um, they <laughs> it was their only time that they did pyrotechnics. It wasn't really pyrotechnics. What they did was, as, as the two announcers were coming into the octagon, um, they dropped <laughs> a whole load of silver sprinkles from the, from the uh, from the sky. And then you had people avidly with brushes um, trying to get all these sprinkles off the um, and out of the cage. Um, before the the match started, that was that was highly amusing. Um, ah, now where was I? Uh, oh yes, coming up to that one. Uh, so um, Shay Mills and uh, Marius Zarumski, or something like that. I don't know what his name was. Um, but Shay Mills was uh, somebody who was being heavily supported by this this gang of people who had supported um, the other two, and uh, and of course he won. And at that point. Um, uh, Paul Daly decided to come into the ring. Now you'll remember that Paul Daly is the person that they that that uh, presented you in with his his title, and who uh, the people that I was sitting with who supported both you in and um, Mills were saying that that uh, really Daly's trying to get out of a fight with Mills. So so that stirred up interest from the people that I was sitting with, and they were getting really rowdy and oh, it was a nightmare. But. Um, and, and daily, I don't know. Um, again, swearing left, right, and centre uh, wasn't good. Um, it was actually at that point becoming a little bit of an embarrassment. I, I feel to the people who were hosting the event. I think some of their fighters' uh, attitudes let them down. Um, I really do, and I'm sure there will be words about that because uh, there was absolutely no need for it with uh, Pointing, and there was absolutely no need for it with uh, Daily either. So. Not so good. Anyway, that was a welterweight title that uh, Shea Mills then won. Now, I believe that, that the thing is that there's a cage rage do a British um, title for each division, but they also do a sort of international uh, title for the division. And I believe that Shea Mills then just won the British welterweight title and that uh, Paul Daly has the, the international welterweight title, something like that. I'm not really up with um, cage rage, I have to say. Um, finally, the main event, uh, Ian Freeman and uh, Paul Cahoon. Um, Ian Freeman, of course, being the person who who, who basically uh, pioneered uh, mixed martial arts in this country um, and pioneered one of the largest and best um, uh, um, magazines, uh, Fighters Only. Uh, everybody counted him out, pretty much, because of his age and because he, he'd been retired. Um, and uh, because the other person was very, very good at striking, but um, had to be seen to be believed because he, he won by unanimous decision. Uh, he was the challenger and he dominated the, his opponent on the ground enough to win the title by uh, a decision. I have to say he was heavily supported by the crowd, but I, I think people were a bit worried that he wasn't going to make it, to be totally honest. Um, and, and the rest of this is just made up by the uh, the sponsors and stuff. So that's fantastic. But uh, there's there's my roundup in in two parts. <laughs>